All right, so North Haven gets New Canaan as the Rams put on the Mike Collins show. The New Canaan quarterback throws six touchdown passes tonight. Here's That's the it? first one. Comes on New Canaan's <laughs> first possession, first play. Collins oh. to an open Kyle Smith. Nobody is there. It's a 67-yard touchdown play. So New Canaan is out and running seven. Nothing. Collins throws his second touchdown pass on the next possession again to Smith, who had 16 receptions for 221 yards. Wow. It's 14 nothing. North Haven or North Haven Notre Dame then responds. Christian Lupoli, whose grandmother came up to me and said, "Hey, I came up from Florida to watch my son play." Well, that's what you got to see right there, finding Nico Regini. It's 14-7. But when the Green Knights kick the ball off, this is what happens. So how deflating is this for Notre Dame? My, Matt Cognetta gets some blocks at really much right up the gut. He's gone for the 73-yard touchdown return. The Rams go up at halftime 31-7. Collins needing one more touchdown pass to set a state record. And in the third quarter, he gets it. Finds Andrew Johns, who hauls it in. Collins, 32 of 44, 440 yards, six, touch, six touchdowns. I wish I had him on my fantasy team. He now has 53 on the season. It's a new state record. New Canaan wins it. 51-27 to advance to the Class L championship game. That game will be Saturday, 2.30 at West Haven. Something tells me, fellas, that there will be no lack of offense at this one. North Haven, New Canaan, 2.30 Saturday, West Haven. I guess the best way for North Haven to uh, kind of keep that New Canaan offense off the field and try to run the ball and grind out some clock. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be easy.